is up guys TW Booty Hunter here with another video and with another reaction video for you but this is no ordinary reaction video that's right this is going to be yours truly TW Booty Hunter reacting to not one not two but three that's right a triple reaction bro the first triple reaction on the channel my dudes uh yeah it's gonna be me reacting to a lot of this the rock cody saga crap um so yeah in the first video that we are gonna be reacting to is by busted open podcast which has bully ray which has mark henry and which even has this guy that's on the screen this fucking senile old man in a in his fucking pink robe uh, looks like he just completely got out of bed or something like that i don't know what the fuck is wrong with this guy this is the guy who was the uh, who is one of the cody crybabies so to speak i really don't even like calling them cody crybabies anymore i'm kind of sick of that honestly i'm I'm now to the point where I'm calling them Cody psychopaths. That's that's where I'm going with it now because again, you, a lot of people seem to want like there's people that want to somehow make you forget that these people, these Cody crybabies, these Cody psychopaths threatened the Rock's daughter. Not forced, not as a storyline, not as a work like many people on the internet like many marks on the internet will have you believe because apparently to these dumbass marks everything's a work because they're so in the know of the wrestling business they like they listen to Mel like they listen to Meltzer they listen to Alvarez and all of a sudden they know everything they know everything about wrestling despite not being in the wrestling business um, and prop like not being in a wrestling business at all, not being in any, having any real information on what goes on in the wrestling business. They are just fans, just like a Meltzer, just like an Alvarez, just like a JD from New York, just like a Sala Monster, just like a Sean Ross Sap. All of them are fans, just like I'm a fan, just like Technical Work Rate Productions are fans. Just like King Mike is a fan. Just like Masked Up Marks is a fan. We are fans. That's the only thing that all of us have in common is that we are fans of professional wrestling. That is the only thing. Some of us have bigger, like, like followings, and some of us have different takes on this wrestling stuff. Um, but, yeah, that's really just what it is like. It's like these guys, no, none of us are as big as maybe some of some of us make ourselves out to be. I am not anyone special. I am not a wrestling expert. I am a wrestling fan. Like I like I've just said, I am not the end all be all of this crap. I just happen to talk about it. That's all it is. So. No one should ever be looking to me for, like, inside scoops of wrestling. I give my takes on whatever's going on in wrestling in the most entertaining way possible that I can. Um, that's really just it. And, yeah, because I'm not one of those guys who just thinks, oh, my God, I know everything about wrestling. You should go to me for everything wrestling. No. That's what guys like this think. Guys like this David LaGreca idiot uh, think they know so much, apparently, uh, know so much about nothing about wrestling. But anyways, man, let's get into this video. Um, this was from like, obviously a month ago. The Rock bullied Cody Rhodes out of WrestleMania. Obviously, once again, this was a month ago, you know, due to all the crying and whining and psychotic antics on fucking Twitter um, against The Rock and his family. Uh, Cody got his match back. Um, so, yeah, 
Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and react to this now because I got other videos that kind of respond to it or that kind of coincide with it that I'm going to also react to. But nevertheless, let's get into this craziness. Jesus Christ. Solution, Mark. But before we get to the possible solution for Cody Rhodes, I mean, Bully, I think, slept like a baby. Mark, I don't know how you slept, obviously, over the weekend, but it looks to me I haven't gotten any sleep at all. Taking a lot you of look a wreck. You look I'm, disheveled. I'm a, I'm a wreck. What a weekend. What well, a all I'm going to say is before we, go, before we go forward for the both of you, here's what I need from the two of you today. And here's what I need from the entire Busted Open Nation today. Please, okay? I know you guys are in bad moods. I know you guys are dejected, sad, disappointed, yada, yada. Just Defeated. Okay, fine, defeated. What I, and listen. Come on, Mark. You're telling me you really wanted Cody to be in the WrestleMania, man? God. You know what? That's what it is. That's, you know what? Here's what I'm kind of getting now. This is the same with all forms of entertainment, but wrestling now has simply become wrestling for wrestlers. It, it's not even for, like, the actual fans anymore. It's, it, it's, it's more for the marks, and the marks don't just include the hardcore fans. They also include people that even are in the business, the wrestlers who just don't know anything other than wrestling. That and just only care about um, wrestling. That's basically what Marx also kind of extends to as well. Uh, I like Mark Henry, but I'd hate to say it. He's one of those Marks as well. Uh, and, you know, guys like Triple H, obviously, are one of those Marks. Uh, it's like, mm, yeah, it, like, come on, dude. It, wrestling has essentially just become for the marks just like rock music like metal music and stuff like that has basically just become music for guitar players or or just musicians it's music for musicians it's not even music for fans or anything to get into it's more just like guitar music for guitarist that's all that crap is now and yeah it just really sucks because it just Makes me wonder what happened to the days when stuff used to be entertaining, but now everything's got to be, everything's so niche now. It's like, I, I don't know. It's like you can't be a fan of something anymore uh, without just bumping into all this elitist crap. You know, you just want to go in completely on, you know, just completely kind of in the beginning stage, just kind of, a little bit of a blind eye really getting into something even fighting games to a degree with these only pros that's that same shit you can't be entertained by anything anymore because everything's got to be exclusively for the hardcore audiences of that particular form of entertainment but anyways aside from that rant let's get it go ahead and get into this i empathize with you guys that's I'm not telling you you're wrong to feel the way you do, but please, I am. Please, you guys and the entire busted open nation, go into today's show with an open mind. <laughs> They're not gonna do that. I'm not saying you have to agree. Just please have an open mind to what we're gonna talk about today. That's it. Well, I know, but before and you see. Already, yeah, I mean, you can't expect Dave LaGreca to have an open mind about this shit. You know, his crush, Cody Rhodes, he got bullied out of the main event of Mania. I bet you he's crying right now. What kind of describe this? It's like throwing a grenade <laughs> in the room. And we have to describe the grenade being thrown into the room, the destruction it caused, and then we get to what could be the cleanup of this situation. Bully, I know that you have a plan in mind. But before we get to that, I'm sorry, Bully, but there's a lot we need to get to before we get to the conversation of how to fix this situation because we really Absolutely. have to describe that. Does that guy have a literal picture of Cody Rhodes like right behind him? Oh, my God. If he... I wouldn't be surprised if this guy literally faps to Cody Rhodes at night. 
just like random pictures of Cody Rhodes, just oh, oh, oh. I, I wouldn't be surprised. That's what this guy kind of gets me in the mind of, just like Dave Meltzer with the Young Bucks. That grenade that was thrown into the room and what is happening and the ripple effect that it is now caused throughout the pro wrestling landscape. Because, guys, you would have to be blind to not see how angry fans are. And I'm not saying all fans. I'm sure there's some fans that are happy that The Rock is back and that The Rock is going to be what it looks like. I'm glad he acknowledged that, at least. At the main event of WrestleMania. But there are a lot of angry fans and Bully and Mark. I am with them. We are, we are in the midst of telling a story and he what story this is what i don't get about this whole cody rhodes thing the only thing is like bro cody rhodes just wants to win the wwe title because his father never won it dusty rhodes was a world champion he was just never wwe champion you're telling me that's the story that you're trying to tell there's lots of legends who never won the damn WWE title. Freaking Roddy Piper never won the WWE title. Like, come on, man. Like, like that never happened. Ricky Steamboat never won the WWE title. I'm, I'm like, bro, there's plenty of legends that never won the WWE title and still went on to have iconic careers. Legendary careers, even. Sting never won the WWE title. And he and obviously he he's had a legendary career. He got to end it off on his terms, so yeah. Like, come on, man. Not every person needs to win the WWE title. Like, that's what makes this whole Cody Rhodes thing so stupid. And it it, it almost seems insincere too. Because it's like, does he really want to win this for this for his dad? Or does he want to win this for himself? This is like, it's like how is Cody actually a face? Especially with coming in with the suit and all that, trying to speak in all these big words, like he's so sophisticated. Everything about that screams heel to me. But because, you know, he's the flavor of the month, these, you know, Cody psychopaths, Want him to finish his story. They love him. They, yeah, they want to see him as world champion up until eventually he does become world champion. And maybe about a month or two later, they'll get tired of him. And when the next shiny new toy comes, they'll just say that they're bored of him and that he's being shoved down their throats, despite them being the ones doing the fucking shoving. But, okay, that's all this is. That's all this is. Here in the in the eleventh hour before we get to WrestleMania, The Rock has in, inserted himself into the main event of WrestleMania 40. Bullied I'm himself. Not alone. I, 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 bully. That is the exact word. I. No, he didn't bully his way felt, into it. This is how I felt. I felt that The Rock was the bully that came into the lunchroom and stole your lunch money. That dude, fucking Cody Rhodes, have, dude, he's literally done that to every single person on the roster. Like, he's, he's done that to a Drew McIntyre. He's done that to fucking guys like guys like Lashley, guys like Miz. I mean, guys like Kevin Owens, even though I definitely don't want to see him as world champion. Guys like Sami Zayn, all those guys and others who have been working their asses off to try to get to that spot or back to that spot. He basically just came in from uh, being a complete failure at that company that he tried, to, that he started. He came in and basically just got a hand at the world. How are people not pissed at that? Like, it's like how, like, if I was a person on the road, I'd be ticked off at that. This guy who was in, who made this other company trashing the WWE, tra like trashing Triple H, and he comes back after being a failure over there and completely getting chased out of his own company, 
comes back to WWE and just gets handed bunch of opportunities, including by the same man that he talks shit about. Really? That's fuck. That's that's hilarious. But yeah. But you want to talk about somebody bullying somebody or or fucking? Oh my god, it's ridiculous. That's what happened. I want this. I want it now. Let me take it away from you because I want it. Chocolate and I want milk. That's what Cody Rhodes Give did. A, Give me that chocolate milk and your cookie. But we're not acknowledging that. Playing, the part, cookie playing the part of Veruca Salt at this milk. WrestleMania will be Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Dwayne, uh, Dwayne Johnson, uh, board of director uh, Dwayne Johnson. I'm not calling him The Rock. It's board of director Dwayne Johnson because this was a hostile takeover that took place on SmackDown on Friday. Oh, my God. you got to be kidding me. Unbelievable. And I do not want when WrestleMania, if, if it looks the way it's going, listen, guys, and I know you have a plan in place, Bully Mark. We're going to discuss it with the Busted Open Nation over the next three hours, and we're going to get a lot of different opinions and insights. But make no mistake, this is still not The Rock's WrestleMania. It's not The Rock that sold this year's WrestleMania. Are you fucking sure about that? Because <laughs> who, who, who can you actually say? It, can you say it was Cody that fucking sold the mania? Because that'd be a lie. Can you say it was Seth Rollins? Because that'd be a lie. Can you say it was Roman? Eh, I guess, but not by that. But, but not by entirely. It was The Rock versus Roman that originally sold this mania. So at least if you were to say it's Roman, you'd be halfway right. But it's not Cody Rhodes that's selling everybody this mania. That's making all these casuals like who stop watching the product want to tune in for the first time in a while. He's not making casual fans come in and want to watch this shit. How are you freaking Cody psychopaths, despite the name, so damn delusional and crazy that you don't see that. Cody Rhodes had like listen, The Rock being back so far has sold out like at least like maybe three shows. Something that Cody and Seth could never do combined. Matter of fact, something that the whole roster combined couldn't even do. Even that, including Reigns. They have never actually sold out a fucking Raw or SmackDown. It's not happened. Until The Rock came back, that's who sold sold that shit out. That's who sold out those arenas. <laughs> it's not Cody or Rollins. It's not. It's not even McIntyre. It's not even CM Punk. <laughs> It's delusional, man. WrestleMania 39 was the biggest WrestleMania in history. That's a fucking lie. What, just because it was in Hollywood? The main event was Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes. This year's WrestleMania will be the biggest WrestleMania of all time. And it had nothing to do with The Rock. That's a fucking lie. Now, last year, people were saying, oh, well, we thought maybe at the beginning of the year it was going to be a rock. We did not think that this year. Throughout, No, they did think that. You're not in WWE, so you don't know what the fuck they were thinking. Out the entire year. We thought this was going to be Cody and Roman at the main event of WrestleMania 40. So I don't want to hear all the BS and all the propaganda after this year's... Propaganda? You mean actual truth? Actual fucking facts? Facts that Cody's psychopaths like you completely try to ignore because it doesn't suit your psychotic narrative? Yeah. WrestleMania, that it was because of The Rock that this year's WrestleMania was the biggest of all time. That then who else was it, genius? Please fucking tell me. Because if you say, Cody, that's a going to hell lie right there. If you say, Cody, you're, you're lying through your fucking teeth. It's complete and utter bullshit. 
He's walking in there on the 11th hour. And no, and listen, I've had a lot of respect for guys. I have spoken Do you? to the people. Because it seems like you're doing a lot of crying and complaining right now. That weren't sold on Cody. But after what they saw at this year's Royal Rumble, they were sold on Cody. You did not need. The Honestly, th I'm sold even less on Cody now. Before, he was just a mid Carter that didn't deserve to be in the world title picture, which I still don't think he, which I still think that's the case. But now with creeps like him and other psychopaths that have been threatening the Rock and his family over a fucking fake predetermined wrestling match, um, I'm even less sold on Cody. If now, I honestly completely dislike Cody now, even to the point where I made a top 10 sucks video on the fucker. Like, honestly, I'm not even going to lie. I think I actually, I think I actually like CM Punk more than Cody Rhodes at this point. And that is something I never thought I'd say in my lifetime. But at least when it came to the summer of punk, you know, and all that, even when it came to the Daniel Bryan bullshit, you didn't have any of those people fucking threatening like Reigns or his family or anything like that. You, you didn't have any of that happening just because they wanted their guy in the main event. This is some whole new shit with Cody. And the fact that Cody completely put out a non-response, basically, basically pretty much condoning it. Like, let's just call it what it is. He was condoning it without condoning it, dude. Yeah, he was like, because basically the tweet was, I know you guys are very passionate, but trust me. It's like, come the fuck on, dude. You should have been calling them out for their insane behavior. It's like, as much as I appreciate the passion, I appreciate the support. If you are actually out here really actually threatening in threatening violence of any kind against anyone, you are not real Cody Rhodes fans. If he would have said that, I would have actually gained some respect for the guy. But the fact that he couldn't even have the balls to fucking say that, yeah, fuck him. Fuck him all the way. If anything, because of that, he's actually worse than CM Punk. Because I don't think even CM Punk would have stood for some shit like that. Even Daniel Bryan wouldn't have stood for some shit like that. Fucking sad. Yeah, fuck Cody Rhodes. Throw this curveball at the fans this late in the game. That's my opinion. I can't believe there's people that actually, even with that, I can't believe there's people that actually have the nerve to try to defend that shit. It's not all Cody Rhodes, but obviously it's not all Cody Rhodes fans, you fucking idiots. But the fact that that shit still even happened is insane enough. You should still be calling that out. What, are you afraid that it's you? If it's not you, then you have no reason to fucking even try to, like, be a hip dog hollering. Because that just makes you look guilty. And I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Dave, Go ahead, Mark. I wish I could argue with you. I really do. I wish that I could argue with you because of the relationship that The Rock and I have had and uh, the history that we've had. I like to say, Dave, that's not, that's not it. But you are 100% entirely correct to feel the way that you feel because I feel the same way. I see the writing on the wall. I see the writing on the wall. The WrestleMania was going to be highly successful even without having The Rock on it the was, pay -per -view. Mark, see, I doubt that. And it's like, because ain't nobody really even talking about 39 like that. Nobody's talking about that shit like that. 
And it's like, what is your level exactly of highly successful? Like, that's what I want to know. Because how many people are still talking about WrestleMania 39? Like, like, is that shit being talked about all over the world right now? Is that shit really being talked about on, like, fucking SNL? Like, is that shit being talked about on, like, the news? Is that shit being talked about all over on fucking, like, Instagram? Do you got, like, I don't know, fucking celebrities, like, Snoop Dogg, like, Post Malone or anything like that? Do you got any of those celebrities, or even, like, Taylor Swift talking about like fucking that shit no they're not nobody's really talking about that shit besides the hardcore audiences that watch this shit the people that are in the wrestling but like the people that watch wrestling those are the only people that are still talking about that wrestlemania assuming any casuals watch that shit they watched it and probably just don't care anymore or that probably might have been the wrestlemania that ruined all that shit for them Maybe. Who knows? But that shit's not being like, it, it's not highly successful. Don't let any of these fucking marks fool you. Don't let the Mark Henry's fool you. Don't let guys like David LaGreca fool you. Do not let any of these people in the wrestle in in this wrestling bubble fool you. There is actual degrees of what actual success is. It was successful on a wrestling level. But what the fuck does that really mean? Because we all watch wrestling. So it's successful to uh, eh, whoopee. Is it successful all across the world? Are people like right now still talking about 39? No, they're not. More people are talking about wh whoever the fuck Taylor Swift's still dating. It's like no one gives a fuck about WrestleMania right now. Probably even less so now that it's not going to be Rock versus Reigns. But, yeah, no, highly successful. Okay. And I like Mark, but nah, you're spitting some BS right now. And then it's like he kind of comes from a biased point of view anyways, considering he's not even with the damn company anymore. He's with WWE's competition. So, it's like he's already going to talk a bunch of shit about the WWE to even begin with. So you can't exactly take his word on that. It's coming from a completely biased place. I, I have to interrupt you there. It wasn't going to be highly successful. It was going to be the biggest WrestleMania of all time. No, you're, you're an idiot. You're an absolute idiot. This okay. year's WrestleMania in Philadelphia was going to be the biggest WrestleMania. Financially, eyes on there, everything that you want to put. Eyes on there? Really? Because how many people today, like I said, are still talking about WrestleMania 39? How many people are still talking about WrestleMania 39, dude? Really? Right now? In 2024? How many people are still talking about WrestleMania 39 in this specific current date? Who? Who? Who are still talking about? about that besides the people that already watch wrestling like completely cut them the fuck out who in the actual outside of this wrestling bubble is talking about wrestling who is talking about wrestlemania 39 is talking about cody rhodes versus reigns who besides people like us is talking about that shit you really don't know. Like, that's what I'm saying about, like, who is successful. It's successful on a wrestling level, which generally does not mean shit. And you want to throw into the poll. That was going to happen at WrestleMania 40. There was no need for The Rock to jump in less than two months before WrestleMania. There is a need for The Rock to jump in. Because, basically, it would have just been like WrestleMania 39, where people would have watched it and completely fucked off and, and not giving a shit which i don't know maybe it probably might still be well then again it might still be but not as much since the rock is technically gonna be on the show so it might be a big deal but yeah i mean it's like oh it'll be a bigger deal than 39 but again that's not saying much i'm sorry there was no need for it 
and the, would, and it, the, would, it, would it have been better, Dave, if after WrestleMania, The Rock came and then said, well, now, Roman, that your streak has been broken. And now that you've lost the title, there's another matter of something of great importance that you need to be relieved of. And that is the title as the tribal chief. That is stupid. That doesn't mean anything. The title of tribal chief. That's stupid. What are you going to post that on Fox? Like, 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 let's say on the major fucking, I, I don't know. Let's say on, if they're talking about that on any fucking major publications at all or at any point in fucking Hollywood. Let's say on the fucking news, it's like, oh, did you hear The Rock's going to have a match with Roman Reigns for the title of tribal chief? Oh, interesting, I guess. What the fuck is a tribal chief? Like, what the f- Like, come on, dude. It's stupid. Only people that have been watching the show are going to know what that is. <laughs> people that don't watch this show are not going to know what that is. Like, are, they're going to be questioning, is that like a championship or something? It's stupid. It's a fictional sort of title. Even though the WWE title is, like, fictional, it's still, like, an actual award. It's still something that people know. And it is still kind of like a trophy, like what the NFL championship is, the NBA championship. Kind of in that vein, but not necessarily. So people do know what that is, and that is important. But no, like that should be for a title. Rather, Rock wins that shit or not. It should be for a title because that's the only way that that truly does mean something. Because for the title of Tribal Chief, it just doesn't make any sense. And then it's like, what if Rock wins that title of Tribal Chief? What then? You're not even thinking about the after effects. See, these people don't think ahead. Yes. Yes. Absolutely, 100%. A year build towards WrestleMania 41, I, I, th- I don't think there would be any... You know how fucking long that's going to take? Like, WrestleMania 41, that's stupid. You're going to build that all the way from after WrestleMania 40 to 41? You have any idea how much time you're going to have to spend building that fucking thing? And how long that's going to go on? People are going to get tired of it. Especially if it's not even for a championship. Oh, that's just plain stupid. See, it's like these people, even in the wrestling business, want to think that they know so much. But in reality, they don't know jack shit. God, they're so stupid. And I hate to say this about a Mark Henry. I really do, because I like Mark Henry. A David LaGreca, I have no problem saying this, though, because he's a putz. Anyone that would have a problem with it. And we've always said that. It didn't need to be about the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. For Cody, it, does, it was about though. the story. And and Bully, you did an excellent job of setting it up where, you know what? Cody going after the World Championship held by Seth Rollins. Seth did a fantastic job Monday Night Raw to say, you know what? This is the championship you should go after. This is the workhorse championship. That undisputed WWE Universal Championship that Roman holds, that's the Hollywood Championship. This is the championship that you need to go after. Which is crazy because Cody, when that was happening, Cody looked disheveled. He looked like, oh, now I have to go for this crappy belt. He basically just buried Seth's belt. by Like literally saying, ah, fuck that. I'm going to go for the Hollywood belt. Because the world belt's supposed to be the workhorse title, right? That's supposed to be the real world championship. But Cody still wants to go after Roman's title. The quote-unquote Hollywood title. He just buried Seth and makes Seth's belt look completely meaningless. That's like, what the fuck? <laughs> after that whole passionate promo that Seth cut, and then Cody just says, oh, well, I'm still going to go for this other belt, so fuck you. Like, if I was Seth, how would you not be pissed about that? 
I, I don't like see these people do not know re- like, I don't think these people know wrestling as much as they think they do, man. Well, they completely, completely blew up and erased everything that Seth Rollins said on Monday night. Yeah, they did. <laughs> if you wanted to go in the direction of the World Heavyweight Championship, they completely ripped up that plan, destroyed it, and pissed all over it. So yep. it, go ahead, Bully. I, I just have a question for clarification. When that championship was originally introduced with the lion's heads and the, the throwbacks to history, wasn't that belt designed to have historical significance back to the days of Bruno? Yes. That's the way that championship was presented to us. The WWE educated their fan base to believe that this is the Bruno Bob Backlund superstar Billy Graham championship. Am I on the right track? You're right. They, they, it was a tribute to the, and a tip of the cap to the history of the WWF slash WWF slash WWE. A thousand percent bully. And now Cody went on TV the other day and said that the championship that Roman is holding represents Bruno. Well, he said that's the champ. We're gonna we're gonna replay it because I want to do a start stop. But yeah, I don't know if it kind of keeps going from here. I kind of want to get more into where he gets more into the freakish rant about the Rock. But I think that might have just been it though. I think that might have just been it, though. Maybe. Oh, yeah, because he kind of takes off the robe from here. All right. Well, yeah, that's basically what that was. Um, yeah. Ah, man. I'm, yeah, it, just, it sucks. Well, yeah, this was just complete and utter absolute dumbassery. Um, yeah, from both David LaGreca, of course, and uh, even Mark Henry in question. It's a damn shame. Once again, I like Mark Henry, but you're a major idiot. And maybe being over there in AEW has just completely fried your brain. I don't know what the fuck uh, it is, but anyways, man. Bully Ray seemed like the only actual objective one in that whole podcast. But let's just go ahead and get on to something that's going to be way more entertaining than even these three combined and that is none other than the rock and <laughs> i guess let's have him ma- let's see him massacre cody rhodes for 21 straight minutes let's get into it bro oh man it has been it has been a big week it's been a big week in the world okay. of professional wrestling It has been a big week in the world of the WWE. It has been a big week. I don't know why that thing keeps like flashing like that, but it's really disorienting. Champion in the world of the great one and in the world of the most electrifying man walking God's green earth, daddy. It has been that kind of week. And to quote the legend, one of the rock's heroes, what's causing all of this? Woo. It's been that kind of exciting week. Pro wrestling is exciting once again. Yeah. It's been decades. Pro wrestling is cool once again. It's no. been decades. Come on. Pro wrestling is undeniably exciting once again. It's unpredictable. It's disruptive because of one man. It's still kind of predictable, but okay. And that is The Rock because The Rock came into pro wrestling came back to pro wrestling, a business that The Rock loves, an industry that The Rock was born into, took professional wrestling, turned it on its head, disrupted the shit out of it, and it will never, ever be the same again. And it feels good. It feels so damn good. And whether you like The Rock or you don't like The Rock, it doesn't matter because it feels good. Pro wrestling is back on top. And it feels good. 
It feels good. But you know what? You know what? Here's the thing. You know what doesn't feel good? Well, the rock will tell you what doesn't feel good. What doesn't feel good is all the bullshit that the rock has got to deal with. Oh all the bullshit get that the it. people's champion has got to deal with. All the Cody crybabies out there Cody still run on their mouths that the rock has got to deal with. All the jabronis in the locker room still running their mealy mouths that the rock has still got to deal with. Cody crybabies. <laughs> Take a look. You know who is my favorite wrestler right now? <laughs> it's Cody Rhodes. Do you know who I hate and I fucking despise in this moment? It's Dwayne Johnson, member of the board of directors of TKO. I hate that man right now in this moment. Not as a person, right now. obviously, but as, a, a, as a, a wrestling fan watching the product. The person I want to boo, the person I hate the most, is Dwayne Johnson, board of directors of the WWE. And well, he's a heel, so you're kind of supposed to hate him, but okay. TKO. That's who I am angry at right now because I am looking at the board of director that came in, used his power to take this opportunity away from Cody and put himself in the main event at WrestleMania 40. That's how I look at it right now. So you see, this is the level of absurdity and bullshit that The Rock has got to deal with. The Rock doesn't know who that guy is, but no. he knows what he is, and that's a goof, <laughs> an idiot, another pro wrestling Cody crybaby jack off idiot who thinks he knows everything but doesn't know shit. <laughs> the guy is sitting in his basement <laughs> with a bathrobe and a Cody Rhodes t shirt on, and he's talking about how much he hates The Rock. You don't give that guy a podcast. You give him a straight jacket. You're damn How right you do. He hates the rock. You hate the rock. You hate the rock. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the board. The rock will get to that in a second. It has everything to do with common sense, you idiot. You goof. And to all the Cody crybabies who are grown. Rock. You know common sense. You, well, you probably don't know. Obviously, because you have a life, but for those of us who actually have to deal with these psychotic marks on a daily basis, common sense does not apply to these people. Uh, common sense, it doesn't apply to wrestling marks. When it comes to wrestling marks, common sense goes whoop, right over their heads, um, along with basic sanity, um, along with just even yeah like a lot of things honestly like these people are just nuts but you're just basically getting a taste as to what guys like me have to deal with on a daily basis when it comes to these cody psychopaths and these absolutely weird wrestling marks don't ask men who think you know it all when you don't know shit you listen up yep. to The Rock right now. It has nothing to do with the board. It has nothing to do with the fact that The Rock owns everything as it relates to The Rock, the people's champion, full ownership, which means The Rock is the boss. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with common sense. Let The Rock drop some gospel on you. Here's the common sense. When Roman Reigns, years ago, dropped the words, head of the table, those words were specifically and solely set up and created so one day Roman Reigns, the champion of the WWE, would come face to face with his cousin, The Rock, the people's champion, and together, combined, they will make the biggest WrestleMania of all time, the biggest match of all time, the biggest match in the history of professional wrestling. When Roman Reigns said those words, that's why he said it. Because that is Roman Reigns' story. That is The Rock's story. At one time, that was Cody Rhodes' story, but it was last year. And what happened last year at WrestleMania? What's what's the uh, Got his what's ass. the technical term? Hand it to him. Oh, he shit the bed. Yeah. Spam. Damn.
that's what happened. And then the rock comes back on January 1st of this year. It's a big year. You know it and the rock knows it. It's an exciting year. You can feel it in the air. You can feel the mana. 2024, we're going to kick it off the right way. The Rock goes out there in front of that crowd in San Diego, California, and said exactly what he promised he was going to say, because we had an agreement. And that agreement was The Rock was going to go out there and he was going to test the waters. And he was going to see how the crowd reacted. Where should The Rock sit? You remember. Should The Rock sit at a booth? Mm-hmm. Mm. Crowd didn't know where I was going. No, Should the rock sit at a bar? Oh, bigger reaction. Yeah, the rock loves a bar because the rock loves him some tequila. Uh -huh. Or should the rock sit at the head of the table? Which was crazy because I love that he's actually bringing that up. People reacted huge to that. They were very excited. But as soon as it came to Cody Rhodes and winning the Royal Rumble and getting the man, suddenly when it became cool to hate The Rock or cool to love and cool to love Cody, that's when they suddenly started turning on him. And this is what's going to happen when Cody, if Cody wins that world title. They're going to turn on him too for the next flavor of the month. That's all that's going to happen. Look how excited they were right there. Now they claim all of a sudden they hate the rock and it's die, rocky die. Okay. Yeah, that's a bunch of bullshit. I'm telling you. Like they they were so excited too. So excited, but now suddenly they hate the rock now. Suddenly now it's a, you're a coat you're a proud Cody crybaby. Mm. The world. Exploded. And just as sure as a rock has chills on his arm, the world exploded because they knew after all these years they were finally getting the Rock versus Roman Reigns, the mm -hmm. biggest WrestleMania of all time. Of all time. And what happens? Cody Rhodes, he wins the Royal Rumble. Fair and square, works his ass off, and he wins that Royal Rumble, baby. Yeah, he's going to WrestleMania. Yeah, good for him. Good for him. The Rock was happy. Mm. But what happened? The Rock called Cody Rhodes, had a conversation. Mm. But it was a conversation that a few have had with Cody Rhodes before. Because Cody knew the biggest match of all time was looming. The Rock talked to Cody. I said, Cody, you know, you love this business. The Rock loves this business. You were born into this business. The Rock was born into this business. Roman Reigns was born into this business. The three of us born into this business. You know, Cody, you got the biggest WrestleMania main event of all time. Right here, you have an opportunity to bring this business up to places that's never been before. You can always, with all due respect, finish your story another time. Exactly. But the motherfucker had to be greedy. The motherfucker had to cry. He had to send this Cody psychopaths to bitch and moan all over social media. And even though so Cody psychopaths wound up taking it way too far when they threatened his daughter. Rocket stings, but I agree. It stings, but I'm a team player. It stings, but I want what's best for the business. Oh, the Rock's exposing some shit. So that's what he said. See, but oh, okay, I can't wait to react to this uh, Cody promo uh, next. Because that does sound about right. I, I'm, not, I'm not there for the conversation, but why does that sound like something Cody would say, though? 
Because Cody is a bit of – he does try to be a team player. You know, Cody's a team player, right? Cody wants what's best for the business, right? No, he wants what's best for himself. Just like what most professional wrestlers do. And, you know, the professional wrestling is a naturally selfish business. But the fact that Cody Rose tries to come out there like he truly does want what's best for the – no, you don't. You want what's best for yourself. Shut up. You're not fooling me. Good man. Good man. And then what happened? In Birmingham, Alabama. Uh-huh. A city we selected because of its rich history, and we knew we were going to make history. It was your job, Cody, to introduce The Rock, thus setting up the biggest main event of all time. And what'd you do? You did exactly what we agreed on. Brother, you introduced The Rock, and that place went crazy. And The Rock came out, and he dapped you up, he pulled you in and gave you a big hug, and I whispered something in your ear. Huh. I Let's put on the biggest WrestleMania of all time. Let's do it for the American dream. Let's do it for the soul man. And I gave you a hug, you hugged the rock back. And what'd you do, Cody? You walked out of that ring on live TV. And you turned back and you looked at the rock. And instead of looking at the rock saying, yeah, go get him. Let's make history. Instead of that, what'd you do? You gave The Rock a look. And it's the same look you gave the world. Like The Rock went out and ran over your goofy-ass dog. See? That's the look you gave. Like the but yet Cody's the face, right? Okay, because that seems like some heel shit, if you ask me. Rock ran over your goofy-ass dog. Then sometime, from that moment on, until Las Vegas, you yeah. changed your mind. Oh. <laughs> you know what? That's no problem. You can change your mind. You have that right. And The Rock accepts that. Everybody has a right to change their mind. The Rock accepts it. You changed your mind. But here's what The Rock doesn't accept. is how you did it. I'll say it again, because it's important to all the Cody crybabies and all the goofs out there and the idiots who still complain. Cody, you had a right to change your mind. You won the Royal Rumble. But what The Rock doesn't accept is how you did it. Saw you in Las Vegas. Saw you in Las Vegas. Saw you backstage 20 feet away. Rock dapped you up, gave you a hug. Did you say anything to The Rock then? Hey, Rock. I got something on my mind. Yeah, tell me about it. Hey, Rock, I got something that's eating me up inside. Cody, go ahead. Tell me about it. Let's walk over there. Let's talk in private. Come and tell me about it. Did you say any of that? No, you didn't say a thing. But what'd you do? You waited until Roman Reigns walked out there and announced <laughs> he's facing The Rock. Then The Rock went out there, showed the entire family tree proof of the most dominant family in professional wrestling, in entertainment, and in sports in the world and accepted Roman Reigns accepted the challenge blood oath and we were going to put on the biggest Wrestlemania of all time what'd you do then you came out and you interrupted hold on hold on said it was that's <laughs> oh no but oh my god but 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 cody he was bullied out of his thing he was bullied out of his match oh oh really oh man see this is what i love right now this is what i love right now because coat because rock is exposing all this shit this is beautiful um, he's exposing cody rhodes for the true sack of shit that he actually is it almost makes me wonder and uh, I know this is going to be controversial. Do you actually really, does he actually really give two fucks about his father's legacy? One could wonder. Or is he just saying that to get himself over? That's what I naturally come to think. 
because he knows that without Dusty Rhodes, without that Rhodes legacy, without that Rhodes last name, he's nothing. He ain't jack shit. And he knows that. That's why, you know, always has like there's always somehow a mention of his father all the time. It's even in the song, my father said, you know, that type of shit. Like, come on, dude. He said it was bullshit. Yeah, it was bullshit. You could think it's bullshit, brother. Not a problem. But you know where you really screwed up? It's when you talk shit about my family. All the Cody crybabies. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Shut your mouths. You talk shit about my family. What'd you call them, Cody? It's not a family. They are nothing but lackeys, but yes men. They're goons. And you spoke about Roman's grandfather, and you spoke about my grandfather, the great high chief, Peter Maivia. If your grandfather was here, if the high chief, his grandfather, was here, they'd be ashamed of you. I did to you, Cody Rhodes, in that moment, what I would do to you a million times, which is slap the taste right out of your mouth. The fucking Seth Rollins running up there like he was gonna actually do something. And then what happened? What happened? <laughs> the rock embarrassed you in front of the world, boy. Yep, it Slapped was beautiful. Slapped the shit out of you. <laughs> you had it coming. Talk shit about my family again. Said it to you then, I'll say it again. I'll say it forever. Talk shit about my family again, and I'll do worse than that. But then what happened? Your new best friend. You got a new best friend. How about yeah, that? Yeah, suddenly. You got a new best friend in the walking clown show known as Seth Rollins. What did Seth do? That's the Rock fake ass the Joker. shit out of you. Seth steps to the Rock. <laughs> Trying to step to the rock like he was gonna actually do something. Seth, sit your silly ass down. The rock would eat you alive. Shut my man. The rock pushed him back, gave him a little love tap. Ah, 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 ah. Get back, get back, boy. You don't want any of this. The rock doesn't know you, you don't know the rock, but you don't want to know the rock in that way. This is none of your business. The rock doesn't know Seth Rollins, never said a word about Seth Rollins publicly, privately, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The Rock has no idea. Because Seth Rollins isn't worth the Rock mentioning. Has no idea why this man is getting in our business, but he did. And not only that, but then he just can't help himself. Like a lot of the jabronis in the locker room, just can't help himself and start talking shit about The Rock. Take a look. Yeah, he's going to open his mouth. He's going to run his mouth. He's going to say the same crap he's been saying for the last two decades because he can't come up with any. Well, even that, he's better than you. It's all better than anything you've ever said <laughs> for your entire career. And all you do is sit there and bitch about Roman Reigns being a better champion than you. <laughs> New material. Um, but the bottom line is, and I've said it before, he's just, he's an afterthought. Mm. This is our... Oh, he's a real afterthought. Okay. Wow. That sounds like deflection there. Because... Uh, you're an afterthought on your own damn show. Even your fucking ugly ass wife is way more important than you, motherfucker. Like, the Intercontinental Champion is way more important than you. Rhea Ripley's ugly ass is more important than you. But, okay, he's an afterthought, but you're not. Okay, that's hilarious to me story it's our era we built the last decade of wwe this elimination yeah and it's been fucking terrible record low ratings chamber show wrestlemania the biggest ever we that's built nothing to be proud of kid built it without him so he can come in he can get what he wants he can take his little piece Ooh. and then he can go back to hollywood and do his <laughs> thing because we got this thing but we don't need you big guy <laughs> sounds like sour grapes to me because hell one seth rollins trying to get into hollywood it, trying to get in that little bullshit Avengers movie, and then that fucking fell through? Because maybe <laughs> even freaking Marvel, modern-day Marvel, didn't see jack shit in Seth Rollins? That's pretty sad. Modern-day Marvel didn't even see anything in Seth Rollins. 
enough for him to even just be an extra in the Avengers movie. Fucking horrible, man. Pretty sad if you ask me. <laughs> you don't need The Rock, huh? Rock, we don't need you. You don't need The Rock. <laughs> if you were a little smarter, Seth, you'd realize how stupid you sound. Let The Rock drop some gospel on your goofy ass. Oh, you need The Rock in ways that you can't even imagine. Yup. Record low gospel. ratings. <laughs> you think when Ari Emanuel... The Rock's good friend, The Rock's business partner for decades, The Rock's lead agent. Someone who The Rock looks, looks to like a big brother. You think when he goes to sit with Netflix, across from Ted Sarandos, The Rock's good buddy and business partner, sitting across from Bella Bajaria, The Rock's good friend and business partner at Netflix. You think when they're inking, when they're signing, this $5 billion deal for the WWE, and Netflix, do you think that Ted and Bella is saying, hey, Ari, when WWE comes to Netflix, is Seth Rollins going to be champion? I'm pretty sure they're not thinking that at all. I'm pretty sure they're not even thinking about Seth Rollins at all. Do you think that that's what they're asking? <laughs> not even close. No, they're not asking that, number one. Because they don't care, and number two, they exactly. don't know who in the hell you are. You I, know what they're asking? That, everything I was just going to say. Wow. <laughs> hey, Ari, we'll sign this $5 billion historical deal. Never before. But one question. Where's the people's champion? One question. Where is the man, the rock himself? One question. Where's the man who has the most watched film in the history of Netflix? The rock. Where is he at in this whole thing? Ari looks at them and says, he's locked in for life. He's locked in for life. Director of the board owns everything as it relates to his name. He's locked in for life. Signed $5 billion. So Seth Rollins, you understand now how much you need The Rock? Uh -huh. <laughs> Clearly. You understand now, right boy? And you keep running your mouth. Because uh, if not for The Rock, then you have no show. Because where does Raw go after that? You keep running your mouth. Where does the WWE really go after that? They have no one else in-house that could really run it properly. Triple H damn sure can't do it. Rock, you find some new material, Rock. Find some new material. Uh, well, uh, see, my, res my rebuttal to that would be... Rock finds some good material. <laughs> Seth, how about you find some good material, period, motherfucker? Like, he, you're talking about Rock finds some new material. Seth, you need to find good material because you've never had anything good to ever say or do in the history of your WWE career. Nothing you did, even being in the Shield, was ever that good. The only reason why the Shield really worked is because of Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose. You were an afterthought in the group. You were the guy that they left in the ring to get his fucking ass kicked. You were nothing in that group. You could have easily been replaced in that group. Honestly, fucking Adrian Neville, or, or Pac as he's known now, should have taken your fucking spot. Honestly. You were a complete afterthought in that group. Is that right? Okay, well, The Rock has some new material for you. How about this? Here's some, here's some new material for you, Seth Rollins. How about this? The Rock sits at the top. Director, TKO board, not WWE, but TKO, which means The Rock is the boss, which means The Rock is your boss, which means The Rock owns everything, The Rock, everything associated with The Rock, the people's champion owns it all, which means The Rock is your boss, which means, Seth Rollins, if you keep running your mouth and sticking your nose in the Bloodlines business, then that world title that you have around your waist, very soon, very soon, The Rock will make that title go to somebody else. <laughs> Damn! Do that shit, Rock. Do that shit. Do, yes, that shit. Do that shit, Rock. Just Do that shit. On God. Literally. That would be such a badass power move if he just went and did that on the show. I'm like, ha! Damn! <laughs>
I would laugh my ass off. You know how badly the marks would be pissed at that? He's using his power. Like, all that type of bullshit. Oh, my God. It'd be beautiful. I would love it. I would laugh like I've never laughed before in my life. Learn it. Keep running your mouth, sticking your nose in the bloodlines business. This is between The Rock and it is between Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes. That's it. Stick your nose where it doesn't belong. The Rock guarantees you. And The Rock has built a career on doing everything he has said he's going to do. The Rock guarantees you stick your nose in our business. That world title that you have around your waist will go to somebody else. <laughs> it will go to somebody else. I love the sound and of that. two things you could do about it. Seth, nothing and like it. <laughs> you keep sticking your nose in our business. The rock Better yet or take your ass to that other fucking clown show called AEW. <laughs> Be all elite, Seth. Be all elite. Rock and Roman Reigns are going to beat your goofy <laughs> ass right back to the circus with the rest of the clowns. <laughs> Cody Rhodes, for you, the Cody Cry Babies. Cody Psychopaths. For your new best friend, the walking clown emoji himself, Seth Rollins. And to your goofy ass dog, The Rock says this. You all are advocates of Cody finishing his story. It's so important. Cody Rhodes, you took something from The Rock. You insulted my family. You took something from The Rock. You took something from Roman Reigns. You took something from the millions and millions and millions and millions of the real fans who wanted to see the biggest WrestleMania event of all time. You took it away. Yep. You took it away. Thanks a lot, Cody, you dick. Now you're gonna pay. Cody Rhodes. From the bottom of my heart, man to man, fuck your story. Let's go. That is such a badass way to end that. I don't even need to hear anything else on this. Let's fucking go. A1 right there. That was great. Fucking amazing. Um, And I guess there's the other thing. Look at this shit. Bully Ray does perfect impression of The Rock. Oh, my God. Just sad. What is this? He's sitting in his car doing that? And then it's like Kevin Nash is on The Rock's hill. Who the fuck gives a shit about what Kevin... You know what? Anyway, let's just get into the next video. All right. The next one is Diarrhea Dwayne. Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes mock The Rock. Oh, boy. This is something I've been wanting to tackle uh, for I don't know how long, man. It, it's it's honest to God, really pathetic. Uh, <laughs> it's really, 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 really fucking pathetic. In this part alone, if Seth Rollins wasn't already just exposed, if Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes weren't already exposed for being a complete goofs, for being a complete jackasses, they are? For proving exactly why they do not deserve to be main eventers? This segment alone instantly proves that, and I'm sure tonight is even going to prove that as well. You better believe, folks, I'm going to be watching that SmackDown, and I'm going to be enjoying every single minute of it. So let's go ahead and let's get into this right now. You've stood next to me when I got slapped across the face, even with a bad knee, you were there then. You keep saying you're going to be there as we move forward. The plot. Look at Seth right now. It looks like such a goof. Here. I didn't even think I would be on WrestleMania. Wasn't until I saw that stupid PowerPoint presentation about how Rock and Roman's family was better than all of ours that I decided I have to make a change. I they are. <laughs> they are better. I don't know what fucking Seth is sitting there making that face for. It is. They are. The NOI Maya V bloodline tree is better than anything that fucking the Rhodes family has ever done is better than anything Seth Rollins' family has ever done. Yes. That's just absolute facts. 
That's not even me trying to be like oh, super mean. No, no, it is. It's the honest to God truth. I have to go back on my word. It was my right. I won the Royal Rumble. I get to challenge Roman Reigns. You. And you basically fucking Beth's, uh, buried Seth's fucking title in the process. You cried and fucking changed your mind. Why did you even do all of that if you were just going to change your mind to begin with? You basically proved how much of a selfish prick you truly are. You, coming off of injury, you have to face the only other guy who has pinned me in this ring besides Roman, Drew McIntyre. So, what I am saying and what I wanted to say here and in person for all the world to see, Rock and Roman Reigns together to Mount, Mount Rushmore wrestlers together. Something that you two will never be. I fully understand if you want to focus on Drew and you are not on board with having my back. Well, I respect you giving me the out. I'll take care of Drew McIntyre, all right? I told <laughs> okay. Drew last week, I told you, I told the entire world, there are some things bigger than us, and taking down the bloodline is the biggest thing that we can do. <laughs> You're obsessed with because, Roman, buddy, aren't you? Because it's not Very. just your story that needs to be finished at WrestleMania, Cody. It's my story, too. Ten years ago, Roman Reigns and I, we came into here together. We wanted to take the power from the top. I wanted to take the power and give it back to the people. Oh, boy. Roman Reigns Cringe. wants to keep all the power for himself. And here's the problem. Here's the problem. We're this close because with the rock in the bloodline, we are this close to Roman Reigns having absolute power. Yeah. And the rock, man. I don't know about you guys. I think I know how you feel about the rock, but. I'm kind of over the rock, San Antonio. Well, I don't really give two shits what you're over. Oh, now suddenly it's Rocky sucks. You were excited when he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rocky does suck. And, and look, he ain't been the rock for a long time. He damn sure hasn't been the people's champ for a long time. <laughs> He's been more of a people's champ than you ever will be. And it's like even The Rock now is better than you've ever been in your entire life, in your entire career as a professional wrestler. So we're not going to go here and just try to discredit The Rock just because you feel some sort of way. We're not doing that. Because that's so you crazy. Know what? I, think, I think I'm just not going to call them these things anymore. I was thinking about it over the last week. I figured I'd come up with a new name for The Rock. Let me, let me oh, try boy. this one on for a size. I yeah, think I'm sure, this ought to be good. The Rock. Mm. What is it? How about Diarrhea Dwayne? Diarrhea Dwayne. Oh, my. Diarrhea Dwayne. 
diarrhea Dwayne. In like what the like few minutes that you were sitting there thinking about what name you could call the rock. Even the pebble would have been a better fucking name to call him. Diarrhea Dwayne? What is this Disney Channel? Well, better yet, fuck that. This is more like some Disney Junior type of shit. Diarrhea Dwayne? You're a grown ass man. Talk, talking about Diarrhea Dwayne. That's the best your ass could come up with. Good Lord, if that's the best that you could come up with, if that's the creative mind of Seth Rollins or whoever the fuck wrote that for you, then no wonder why WWE has been doing so fucking poorly in the ratings. It makes all the more sense now. It makes so much sense now. If this is the creative mind that WWE if this is the type of creative shit that WWE can come up with nowadays for a name for Seth Rollins to call The Rock, it's just confirmed everything that I've already been saying that WWE is complete crap, that WWE does not have it, that the uh, whoever's writing creative does not have it. Triple H does not have it. I'm pretty sure it's Triple H. They do not have it. Him and whoever his little cronies are working back there, they don't have it. And mind you, this is a week right after The Rock cut a much more scathing adult promo than what Seth Rollins is cutting. This is like some iCarly type of humor right here. What the actual fuck? And this is world champ this is a world champion this is y'all boy really (laughs) shit like this really just makes the top 10 sucks video that i've did on this clown all the more warranted wow you've got to be kidding me man you couldn't come up with anything else good god almighty even me just saying like a few seconds ago the pebble that would have been, that was way more creative than, God, see, this is why Seth Rollins does not ever need to be near a mic. And, 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 and you know what? I'm not going to lie. This actually brings me so much fucking vindication because I'm going to be shitting on Seth Rollins for a long time. And especially now for this pro. This is going to be the suffering suck attach for Seth Rollins. This is going to be it because all you people that shitted on Roman Reigns for suffering suck attach back in the day, like, oh, he's terrible. Hey, I can do the same thing to this clown now. I can do the same thing for this goofball. Oh, but Seth didn't write. Oh, when you think uh, fucking Roman wrote that promo he did? Don't try to fucking come in my comments saying, oh, well, Seth didn't write the promo. Uh, and, and you expect me to believe that Roman wrote that? Fucking suffering suck attached crap? Really? No, 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 no. If you're going to hold Roman to the responsibility of coming up with that cringe ass line that he did in 2015, I'm holding Seth Rollins accountable for this cringe ass line in 2024. You bet your ass I'm doing that. You bet your ass I'm doing that. So don't even try to come in my comments trying to cover. for. Don't even do it because you're going to look stupid. You're going to look hella stupid. Don't even try it. And you're going to look like a major hypocrite. Because there's nothing you can say to try to, like, backtrack. No, you can't. Not without looking like a total hypocrite and totally fucking stupid. You can't. It doesn't matter what you say. I'm clowning on this man 100% now. As if I didn't already have enough reasons to make fun of this guy. I'm telling you, he's awful. He is awful. And the fact that he has been 
a world champion this long, the fact that he has represented WWE for this long, the fact that he has represented Monday Night Raw for this long, is a, is a damn shame. And this is the guy that was on the cover of two, uh, 2K20, uh, 2K18. No wonder why that d- game did so fucking terribly. <laughs> horrible, man. Just horrible. Everything about him sucks. There's nothing good about this guy. And I know my homies like King Mike are fan, and, you know, like Marcus Brown, y'all fans of this guy, y'all like this guy. Man, nah. Hey, for me, this dude's a complete goofball, bro. He is one of the worst I've ever seen. He sucks ass. Even CM Punk with his little crying bitching promos was came up with way better shit than this nigga. Way better stuff. Fucking Eugene back in the day came up with better stuff than... Santino Morella came up with better shit than what Seth Rollins does. Jesus, tap dancing Christ, dude. Wow. Actually, wow. I'm pretty sure Kelly Kelly cut more better promos than Seth fucking Rollins, dude. Jesus Christ, man. How can y'all be saying that this man is good? He is not. He totally sucks. And he has always sucked. Even if he does turn on Cole, that's not going to make me a fan of him. He still sucks. He will always suck in my eyes. It doesn't matter how many world titles he wins. It doesn't matter if he turns on Cody Rhodes. And if you, this man will always be a joke in my eyes, and that will never change. Ever. That diarrhea, Dwayne, he's been running his mouth, and every single thing that comes out of his mouth has the consistency of wet baby poop. You couldn't even say shit? You couldn't even say crap? God, Triple H, are you that much of a pussy that you couldn't even let Seth Rollins say crap? <laughs> really? <laughs> Oh, this, but this is Triple H. This is the guy back in the day would suck it. Like, really? You can't even let Seth Rollins say crap, dude. Jesus Christ. I, I can't even. I can't even. This is why this show continues to have record low ratings. Soon this shit's going to be doing impact numbers, man. Or TNA numbers as of now. But then again, hell, it's going to come to a point where TNA is doing better numbers than Monday Night Raw. I feel like that is the exact direction we're headed in, especially if Cody Rhodes becomes world champion. That's it. That's it. He becomes WWE champion. That's it. I'm telling you, it's only a matter of time. You get guys like Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins walking around as world champions. They're going to be doing a no, fuck, fuck impact numbers. No, no, because at this point, TNA is going to be doing better numbers than Monday Night Raw. It's going to get to a point where they're doing worse numbers than probably even AEW. And that's terrible. Damn. They're going to be doing worse numbers than New Japan, and they show nothing but reruns from what I've seen. On that little Access TV channel. Like, what the fuck, man? I think public access shows are going to be doing better numbers than what fucking Monday Night Raw is going to... I can't. I, I really can't. This is the most laughable shit. And, this is, and these are the two guys that I'm supposed to take seriously as main eventers. Get the who out of here. Like, you're out of your mind. The Rock gets on Instagram now. I don't know. Oh, no. Look at him. And, co- and dude, Vince Russo had it right. These guys look like a couple of... Dude, they look like some fucking sixth graders. Honestly. They don't even look like men. They look like middle schoolers. Look at this shit. Oh, yes. This guy's a member of the board. 
And then you got these jackasses chanting it. Ooh, do your real. Do your real. Do your real. Do your real. Really? And you wonder why wrestling fans are constantly made fun of, dude. Will you? I can't. I can't, man. I'm telling you. This is why I make these videos. This is why I make these types of videos. As the saying why you wrestling marks are complete dorks. This is why you keep giving me reasons. You keep giving me shit to go off of. You keep proving me right. You prove TWRP right. You prove King Mike right. You prove Masked Up Marks right. You prove all of us right. Every time. You people have no self-awareness whatsoever of just how geeky and weird and psychotic and lame you are. You have no self-awareness whatsoever. You really, really lack that fucking feature. It is crazy how you people don't realize how big a dorks you truly are. It's crazy, man. Good lord, man. It's like, dude, it, 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 it gets to the point where it's goofs like Cody Rhodes, goofs like Seth Rollins, goofs, goofs like all of you fucking, fucking hardcore marks. You make Boogie2988 seem like a Chad. Jesus, tap dancing Christ. Damn, I... Wow. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? You really actually make, you make fucking, seriously, dude. You really, like, dead ass make a Wings of Redemption seem like a fucking Sylvester Stallone. Like, that's how big a dorks you people are compared to, like, a Wings of Redemption. That, that's how big a dorks you guys are. The fact that, oh my, I, it's crazy. It, it's crazy. You are all nothing but just a bunch of wrestling otakus. Cody Rhodes is a wrestling otaku. Seth Rollins is a wrestling otaku. You are all wrestling otakus. Every one of you. Hardcore marks anyways. Not people watching this video. Well, then again, some of you people watching this video might be uh, some wrestling otakus, depending on if you're hate watching or not, which you probably most likely are. But anyways, I'm telling you, man, it's so crazy. I, I'm really trying to just like. Oh, God. I was about to say, man, it was it it was honest to God getting to the point where the fucking video seemed like it didn't even want to play because of just how cringe this whole shit was. And frankly, I wouldn't have blamed it. I almost would have ended the video out right there. But let me see what more they're going to say. If I can even bear through it. God. It sounds like San Antonio agrees with me, eh? Because the Rock's on Instagram for 20... Sounds like San Antonio's a bunch of jackasses. Sounds like San Antonio is full of dorks. <laughs> One minute, are you serious? And this guy has the gall to get on there, insult your dog, and... Oh, oh, he insulted his dog. He insulted his dog. He insulted Cody Rhodes' dog that he probably fucking puts peanut butter on his wee wee and makes fucking the dog lick it. He really, really, <laughs> really, <laughs> like, get the fuck. Oh, 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 my God, he insulted fucking Cody Rose's dog that he probably loves more than his own fucking girlfriend or fiance or whatever the fuck she is to him. 
Oh, how horrible. He says he can make the World Heavyweight Championship go away. He says yeah, with the snap could. of his fingers, because he's my boss, he can make it go away. Well, Rob, yeah, you could, you jackass. I dare you to try. <laughs> you know Dude, hey, hey, take Seth Rollins up on that dare, dude. Seriously, strip that shit, bro. Strip that fucking shit. I want to see it. Do it, Rock. Do it. I will laugh my ass off. Do it. Yeah, well, what Seth Rollins thinks he's such a badass now. You think you can make my world title go away because he can snap his fingers because he's my boss. He can make it go away. Well, I'll tell you something, Rock. I dare you. What? what? You think you're such a badass with that line? After the diarrhea Wayne shit, you try to be hard now? No, that's it. It's over. It's over. Any perception, any sort of, like, remote perception that there ever was of you being some form of a badass has completely died with this promo. With completely died with this. You you completely screwed yourself. You screwed any credibility that you could have ever had. At least in my eyes. I don't know how it is with other people, but if at any point I thought of you seriously as a main eventer, which I haven't, but even if there was the tiniest bit, it's gone. With that diarrhea, Dwayne, nah, you ain't never coming back for that. I am going to roast you to the end of time, brother. And get this, guys. I don't know if you heard him, because 20 minutes is a long time to listen to that idiot. But he said he made professional wrestling cool again. Which, yeah, I did have the fucking, like, literally <laughs> disagree with. Because as long as guys like Cody Rhodes... As long as guys like Seth Rollins are in the main event or, or in that top spot, wrestling will never be cool again. It will never happen. If those guys are going to be the main guys on WWE, if that's what WWE, if that's the best that WWE has to offer, no, wrestling will never be cool again. Despite what The Rock says. If that's what WWE has to offer, no. Wrestling will far, is far from being cool. Far from it. Far from it. Oh, yeah. The Rock. The Rock, our savior, guys. He saved us. He made it cool. Diarrhea Dwayne, I don't know if you know this or not, but you ain't been cool in 20 years, pal. <laughs> He's cooler than you? The guy in the fucking two, bro. Him in the Two Fairy movie was way cooler than you've ever been in your entire life. Sitting there wearing your wife's fucking clothes. Man, get the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> like, what? It's like, you ain't been cool in 20 years. You've not been cool ever. You weren't even cool in the shield. <laughs> like, what the fuck? What are we talking about right now? You weren't even cool when you were in the shield. Nothing you've ever done has been cool. If anything, it's always been the exact opposite of cool. <laughs> but I'll tell you what is cool. Not you. Not Cody Rhodes. That's for damn sure. This morning, I received 100% medical clearance. I am back. I am ready to go. And okay, I don't really give too much of a shit. Does it, does it pick up from here? So this Friday, I will be at SmackDown. To confront the bloodline. Oh, that's gonna be real good, yeah. I wanna know, Cody. I've asked you. I've asked you many times, and I've told you for weeks, man. 
I've got your back in this fight. So what I want to know from you, do you have mine? Oh, look at him doing the yes thing. Oh, all too fucking familiar. All too familiar. That's why this whole thing. Oh, this is just 30 all over again, huh? This is just WrestleMania 30 all over again, huh? That's what this WrestleMania is going to be. Because it's already reeking of the whole Daniel Bryan yes movement bullshit. If that's what this WrestleMania is going to be. I can tell you now, folks, we are going to be headed for one of the worst WrestleManias of all time. Well, to answer your question, I guess I also have a message for The Rock. Oh, God. Yeah, after Seth Rollins' entertaining promo, yeah, 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 sure. I totally want to hear from you, dog lover. Oh, my fucking gosh. Yeah, go ahead. Rocky, it's been a long time since you haven't just been handed something. Look how Seth Rollins was looking at him for like a sec. Well, you probably can't see it on my screen, but if you've seen it, I'm like, Seth Rollins looking at him. I'm like, mm, small signs of dissension. I mean, it would make sense for Triple H's booking, you know, since he always tends to book friendships in breakups, breakups, breakups. That's pretty much his thing. Thing I think it's been since you had that seven bucks in your pocket, and I think you forgot. The People's Champion is not in perpetuity, Rock. I am not the same man as you. I'm not going to whine in a 21-minute promo. I am coming to SmackDown with... Yeah, wait, he whined in that pro? He whined? Why? Because he mentioned how much of a selfish prick you are? That's not whining. He exposed you. And he's going to expose you this Friday, which I'm looking forward to. He's going to expose you and Seth Rollins. With Seth freaking Rollins, I am going to stand across from you, Roman Reigns, the wise man, the whole bloodline. In the great state of Texas. And this Friday, I will give you face to face, eye to eye, not whispering in your ear, my very clear and obvious answer for what's happening at WrestleMania. So that was it. Okay. Woo. Well, yeah. That was that was it. That was the, you know, scathing response that Cody and Seth gave to the rock. Jesus Christ. And, and, and what's funny, what's funny, <laughs> what, what's funny is that, okay, so WWE doesn't need The Rock. Okay, since, since we want to go off YouTube views, since, you know, that's what, you know, the marks will always try to go off of um, yeah, as a way to say that, oh, no, WWE's doing better than ever. The show, no, people just watch on YouTube, I mean, they don't watch on the uh, cable box anymore. Cable's dead. Okay, since we're going to go off of that then, um, okay, so why does, so why does this video with the full segment of The Rock and Roman Reigns responding to Cody Rhodes have 2.5 million views, and this scathing response um, that Rollins and uh, Cody gave to The Rock literally only have 423k views. Really kind of proves my point saying that, uh, yeah, obviously The Rock draws more than both of them combined in this, and that just really, yeah, it just proves my point right there, so... Yeah, anyways, with all that being said, let me know what you guys thought of this video. I know this was a really long one, but I guess that was bound to happen considering I'm reacting to three videos all in one video. Um, so, yeah, obviously something like that was bound to happen. 
um, and the fact that I just had a lot to say. And also, yeah, if you want to see more videos like these, as well as other videos I do on the channel, such as tier list videos, smash or pass videos like the one I did yesterday on the women of Mortal Kombat smash or pass. Um, if you want to know what I think about the woman of Mortal Kombat, who would I smash, who would I pass, then check that video out. And uh, also, yeah, yeah, and also as well, fucking... Uh, yeah, I have lots of other content as well that I could mention here, but like I said, this video is already long enough, and I don't want to keep you people any longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and shill for a bit, um, saying that if you that all sounds good to you and you want to be a part of the Booty Hunter uh, family, and you can like, comment, share, subscribe if you so choose to, and maybe, just maybe, even join click the join button right next to the subscribe button um, to become a member, a Booty Hunter VIP member for just a dollar a month. And that dollar a month gets you access to custom emojis, early access to videos, a day or two hours, uh, freaking minutes, months even before the video, you know, to videos like this and others before they are officially released. And also, you get access to uh, Discord mod access. That's right, instant Discord mod access. You basically just join the server. I see your name. If I see you as a Booty Hunter VIP member, bam, you're an automatic mod on the Discord server. Straight up. So there's that. And on top of that, shout outs. That's right, shout outs at the end of the video. Um, just like these awesome people right here, which are Xavierus, Tiffany Stratton fan. The, yeah, I'm sorry. Just Drew, my boy Just Drew 312. Also, the Gothic Fighter, and who could forget? Marquise, Mar, Mar Taylor. Shouts out to all the Booty Hunter VIP members. Shouts out to everybody who just supports the channel just by watching the videos, subbing to the channel, liking the videos, all that good stuff. And, yeah, just don't forget to click that notification bell if you do click subscribe to enable notifications and to enable all notifications so that you never miss an upload from yours truly. And with all that being said, this has been your boy. T Doppy Booty Hunter, give you guys another banger. And I'll uh, see you guys next time. Thank you for being an ass and not watching the whole video. You didn't listen to a single damn thing I said. Thank you for being an ass. Only hearing what you wanted to And getting butt hurt Like the sensitive little bitch you are Thank you for being an ass